right, here I am. I'm going back to the Shaberg Library after running an errand, getting groceries. And I could see one hour parking is not out of out of reason because it's busy. It's not a big parking lot. Oh, it's so busy. Oh my God. What's that smell? It smells like something's burning. All right, I think I got this outer lane. Yeah, whoa. All right, so I gotta take a right on Volota, and then uh, I think a left on Kennedy. That guy's carrying a, a lot of cans, I think, or maybe plastic bottles for recycling. Uh, it's really warm out, it's getting warm midday I was oh uh, Skinfield such a small sign gotta pay attention for Volot Val Ota <clears throat> could be here looks really pretty okay okay it's kind of looking yep it is it Whoa, my wheels are acting weird. Okay, now this turn, I'm not 100% <clears throat> sure on. I think I've seen a, a parking spot that I want Roosevelt to Upton. And then I think I saw a parking spot that I liked. Roosevelt to Upton. You know, there's a lot of young, attractive women around here. I don't know what's what's attracting them to this area. Is there some kind of a beauty college? Left on Roosevelt. I mean, this this area. I should just scan over with Google Earth because this. This is where this area is all, where all the rich people are really living outside of Palo Alto. Palo Alto's um, cost of living probably got knocked up because of all the the tech companies that are headquartered in Palo Alto. But the people might not be actually living. The rich people might not actually be living in Palo Alto so much some but I've been noticing a lot of real nice homes north just north of Palo Alto just north of of uh, Stanford We've got squeaky brakes thermo pure heat okay is this redwood Huh. All right. All right. I, I'm just gonna continue on. So I really I want to take a look at that. Pull aside for oncoming traffic. Narrow lanes. Really. I'm told to pull aside for oncoming traffic. Wow. So it is, it is that tight. Come Act Building, Veterans Memorial Building. Okay, Roosevelt, I think that's my turn. I had to beat a pedestrian. He wasn't quite at the very edge of the sidewalk to get onto the crosswalk yet, so I had to beat him. I generally don't like waiting up on cars, especially when it's not so busy. It's not so busy here at this moment. So I'm outside of the rush hour. 
So I saw some parking on the the, the, ma the Google Maps that I really want to check out. I forget the name of the street, but it's not the, the library road, that's for sure. Euclid. I don't like Euclid because of that hill. Maybe if I had better brakes. I want to take a closer look now at this road. I could just park right here on the side of this road and just be done with it. But I saw on the map that there's... Oh, stop. I saw on the map that there's something. I want to see if it's regulated. Okay, so this is pretty packed. This is tight. Um, Alright. Now, this parking right here, is this for school? It looks all packed anyway. Oh, yeah. Staff. Okay, it's for the Roosevelt School. Well, then, anywhere uh, around this school, then, I was hoping, s whoa, what was that scraping sound? There's all kinds of weird stuff around going on with my car. Loading zone. Whoa. So there's a loading. Loading zone from 7.30 to 8.30. 1 to 3. Oh, because that's where the, the school buses come. Well, then I guess my only option is... My best option is Upton. Right next to the school. People are parking. There's no regulation. I, I guess. It's flat. I really need flat. Oh, scraping. All right. Next to the school, not far from the library.